Well, Lady in Red, even songs like that creepy, I'll be watching you. All of those songs, when you don't have a companion and you're nearing the end of childbearing age, they can make you, no, 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 I didn't mean really horny. I meant really lonely, <laughs> super lonely. So when I was almost 40, I decided to take things into my own hands. I went to a workshop entitled, If I'm so wonderful, why am I still single? She's still doing that. She's very successful, the writer, and she's got a book by that name in case you are also wonderful and single. <laughs> but I went and I did the work, and we had to find out who the hell we thought we were, and we also had to do some very important looking into what kind of companion we wanted. So I came home from the workshop with my list. She even had us put it in order of importance, and I put it next to my votive candle, and I said, do your work. Now, at the time, I was a volunteer mediator with uh, community mediators in San Francisco. So I went to a mediation, which was extraordinarily well done by the mediator in charge, an experienced mediator, who coincidentally happened to fill most of the things on my list. <laughs> he also was not wearing a wedding ring. He was non-judgmental. He was a great listener. He was kind, he was bright, he wasn't bad looking. So I offered him a ride home, and when I left him there, because he was going to take the bus, this is San Francisco after all, one doesn't drive. Um, and so I offered him, hey, maybe we can go to the symphony. I had comp tickets, but I lost his number. But he got my number. So he called and he said, hey, Genevieve. I hope you don't think this is too forward of me, but would you like to go for a walk in Golden Gate Park on Saturday? And we did. And I got home and I said, oh, I didn't know it could be so easy. What a great guy. I didn't even have to think. I didn't have to worry. I didn't even have to flirt. <laughs> I was so relaxed. So I called him back on Sunday and said, do you want to go again? And we did. And we kept dating and, you know, spent a lot of time with each other. And as time passed, one day, at his little apartment on Clement Street, he presented me with a little chain with a beautiful little golden heart. And he said, I know this may seem soon to you, but would you consider marrying me? I'm giving you a lot of time so you can think about it. And trust me, if you ever want to walk out, that's okay. I thought, wow, that's another one on my list. <laughs> so I unfortunately had to give this a lot of thought. You would think it's a slam dunk, right? But there were things I had not put on my list. I didn't mention that he had to have a lot of mobility so we could travel and see the world. I didn't mention that he had to be in good health. Oh, oh, and I didn't mention that he should be able to see. Don was blind. He was a diabetic, having had diabetes since he was 11. And he was in end-stage renal failure. All right. But he said one more thing when he ended his proposal and he said, I can't offer you very much, but I can give you one thing. I promise I'll never take you for granted. I said yes. <laughs> we married and thus began a beautiful, complicated relationship for 22 years. He passed away in November of 2014. Don Ness, of course, loved music, and he had an old LP collection. And he had such a phenomenal memory that he could say, Jen, go to a certain album cover by such and such a group. It's got this on the cover. I think it's on side B, track four. <laughs> he had 200 records. I want to play that for you. So we shared a lot of music. By the way, he didn't have Lady in Red, he didn't have The Way You Look Tonight, and he certainly didn't have I'll Be Watching You among the songs. <laughs> we had a beautiful, beautiful relationship. I will always remember me, him. He is in my heart. And the most memorable song that I carry 
is when in his shy and sweet voice, he said to me, a song that only has 15 words, but I think all of you will understand the power of that song. You're everything I longed for. You're everything I need. You are so beautiful. <laughs>